Assalam o Alaikum dear student. Today in this lecture I will explain the application of IR spectroscopy. I am Dr. Tahar Mahmood. What are the application? First application is the determination of structure of a compound. Second one is the identification of the structure with some standard compound. Third, detection of impurity, then progress of reaction, percentage composition of the mixture, and isomerism analysis. First application is the structure determination. Basically, IR spectroscopy is mainly used to determine the structure of organic compound and also the functional group present in organic compound. It is done by correlation and interpretation of the IR spectra present in the library. For example, identification is done based on the position of the absorption band in the spectrum as for example the carbonyl absorbed at 750 per centimeter. Absence of the band of particular group indicate the absence of that compound in a mixture. For example, this is the spectra I have taken is the molecule formaldehyde. Formaldehyde contain carbonyl group and carbonyl group this is the spectrum here carbonyl absorbs at 1750 per centimeter while CH2 is symmetric stretch 2850, CH2 symmetrical stretch 2785 per centimeter and then scissoring, rocking and wagging at 1165, 1250 and 1485. So this is the complete spectra of a molecule formaldehyde from which we can determine the structure of an unknown compound. Second is the identification of the substance by comparing with its standard. Mean we want to know the compound. For this purpose, no two sample will have the same identical IR spectrum. Sample and the reference beam must be tested in identical condition like physical state, temperature and solvent. Mean we have to maintain the same condition for our reference and for the sample. The fingerprint region is very important because fingerprint region is always different for each compound which is 1200 to 600 per centimeter. Small difference in the structure and constitution of the molecule result the significant change in the peak in fingerprint region. Here I have given, taken an example of benzene. So this is the standard of benzene. First we have run our reference compound. And then this is an unknown sample from which we want to determine that it is benzene or not. So you can say that the spectra of unknown compound is similar like that of a benzene. From here same peak in fingerprint region same peaks are observed. So we can say that our sample contain benzene. So this is the second application identification of a unknown compound by comparing with the standard. Third we can easily detect the impurity present in our sample by using IR spectroscopy. For example, determination by comparing sample spectrum with the spectrum of pure reference compound Detection is favored when impurity process a strong band. If it is give a strong band then we easily detect otherwise it is difficult if it is quantity is very minute in IR region. When a pure sample is taken in a sample beam and pure sample of the same thickness is taken in a reference beam, the spectrum of impurity is recorded. I have taken here a spectra for explanation. Presence of one octane in the sample of n octane. Here the red color which shows the peak, stretching peak of octane because it contains only CH stretching, no other major functional group are present. 
but in one octene we know that there is carbon carbon double bond and carbon cc double bond h stretch so in blue color here is the impurity we can see that c double bond h stretch here absorbs at nearly 23 2400 carbon carbon double bond stretch nearly around 1200 to 1400 so double bond ch bond band at 800 to 900 so here we can see that impurity are present in our sample fourth application is the progress of reaction we can easily check the progress of the reaction by using ia spectroscopy it can be followed by examining the ia spectra of an aliquot withdrawn from the reaction with different time interval for example we have taken here this is a secondary al alcohol and we want its oxidation in the presence of chromium oxidizing agent this alcohol is changed into carbonyl so with the passage of time oh bond which absorbed nearly 3600 to 3650 per centimeter its peak will be disappear and c double bond or carbonyl bond stretch will be appear near 600 to 700 so from these if uh, the appearance of this peak is increased then we can say that the conversion of alcohol to ketone take place so in this way we can check the progress of the reaction by using a ir spectroscopy fifth application is the percentage composition of the mixture if our mixture have different composition for example commercial xylene which contain ortho para and meta isomer with characteristic absorption band at 740 770 and 830 per cm due to ch bending vibration so if we take the spectra of this co compound with known composition then we can check the percentage composition of different isomer ortho meta and para so this is the spectra of ortho meta and para isomer of xylene if it is ortho then this stretch will be available if it is para then b point this stretch will be due to meta and c due to para so we can say that our commercial xylene contain three isomer ortho meta and para by using ir spectroscopy sixth application is isomerism analysis as we know that with the help of ir spectroscopy we can differentiate between cis and trans because mostly trans isomer have zero dipole moment and they do not absorb in ir but the cis isomer absorb and mostly in this case gave absorption at 5 1580 per cm so we can differentiate cis and trans that is called geometric isomer we can also differentiate the conformational isomer by using ir spectroscopy here this is one propanol and this is two propanol because they both contain oh group so here the functional group region has mostly same type of absorption but the fingerprint region have clearly different absorption peak so on the basis we can say that this is absorption of one propanol and this is the absorption spectra of two propanol on the basis of their fingerprint region tatomers tatomers existence of two or more chemical compound Com capable of interconversion by exchanging hydrogen atom it is also can be determined with the help of ia spectroscopy for example thio carboxylic acid both of the molecule give different peak in ia spectrum due to the presence of c double bond s and c double bond o here 
this is thio carboxylic acid containing c double bond s now we have changed this hydrogen from the here to here so now it is c double bond o so c double bond o and c double bond s absorb differently so we can easily identify whether it is containing carbon with double bond s or carbon with double bond o by using ir spectroscopy then functional group isomer functional group isomer are those which have same molecular formula but containing different functional group for example we have c2h6o they have two functional isomer that is dimethyl ether and ethanol so by using ir spectroscopy we can easily differentiate between these two functional group isomer here i have taken the spectra of dimethyl ether and ethanol ethanol contain oh group which absorbs at 3600 to 3650 but as we know that ether do, do not contain any oh bond so here no absorption take place between 3600 so on so it contain only ethyl linkage which absorb nearly 11 to 1200 while carboxyl uh, ethanol contain co stretch here c double bond h stretch at this one so on the basis of this we can say that this is the spectra of ethanol and this is the spectra of dimethyl ether so with the help of ir spectroscopy we can easily differentiate between different types of functional group isomer thank you very much